from Japan and welcome back to another read along. Okay, first and foremost, I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for uh, bringing me this far and allowing me to do this for His glory. All right. Okay, so please open up your Bibles to chapter 40 in the book of Isaiah. Okay. All right, let's get started. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your God. Speak ye comfortably comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she has received the Lord's hand double for all of her sins. So, you know, the Lord has just punished um, Israel for their sins, okay? The voice of him that, are cr that cries in the, the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. This is John the Baptist prophesied beforehand, okay? The voice of him that cries in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Bye! Bye! That's my students over there across the street. I don't know if you can see them, I don't know. So they're over there. A bunch of students over there. I don't know if you saw that or not. Because my uh, camera is backwards. So I could do this. But anyway. Um, Alright. Okay, very, verse 4. Every valley shall be exalted, every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. Okay? And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. The glory of the Messiah here. And all flesh, flesh shall see it together, for the word of the, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. The voice said, cry. And he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is, of, is as, of, as of a flower of the field. The grass wherewith the flower fadeth, because the spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the Lord, surely the people is grass. The grass withereth. Our lives, we are like grass. We fade. You know, we we do not live forever. So we need to keep that in mind when we live each day. All right. So, um, all right. So the, the grass withereth, and the flower fadeth, and the, but the word of the, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Okay, that's verse eight. O Zion that brings good tidings, get thee up unto the high mountain. O Jerusalem that brings good tidings, lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up, be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold, the Lord God will come with a strong hand. His arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. Okay, I'm going to turn the page now. Alright. See me walking and multitasking. Oh, my Bible is falling apart. Can you see that? about ready to rip off there. <laughs> yeah, you can tell how much I read this. I do. I read my Bible every day, and I have several Bibles. This one is one of my favorites. So this is my little dagger, I call it. I affectionately call it my dagger. I, uh, my very first uh, Bible that I bought was a King James Version. I have that one at home. It's a big one. My big sword, you know, which is the Word of God, you know? But uh, it was too heavy to lug around all the time. So I also got this little smaller one, the smaller King James Version. And I call it my little dagger. But I've also got um, a new King James Version that my father bought me. And I have uh, a Japanese Bible. One I gave away, one Japanese Bible I gave away to a homeless guy. And um, I have several Bibles on my computer. And I have some in my phone. And I have some pocket Bibles here and there of the New Testament. Anyway, so this is one of my favorite. It's falling apart, though. All right, I'm going to move on before I run out of time, because I only have 15 minutes on this thing. All right, so, verse 11. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom, and shall gently lead those that are with young. Okay. Who hath measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and meted out heaven with the span, and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance? So who can do all this but the Lord, you know? He's the one that uh, designed everything. Okay? Verse 13. This is also um, um, out of Genesis 1-2. Who has directed the spirit of the Lord, or being his counselor, has taught him? Okay? With whom took he counsel, and who instructed him, and taught him in the path of judgment, and taught him knowledge, and showed to him the ways of understanding. The way of understanding, sorry. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as a small dust, as small dust of, the, of a balance. Behold, he taketh, 
He takes up the isles as a very little thing, and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beasts thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. Okay. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. To whom then will ye, ye liken God? To whom then will ye liken God? What is God like? Okay, or what likeness will you compare him to? The workman melts a graven image. The workman melts a graven image, and the goldsmith spreads it over with gold and casts silver chains. He that is so impoverished that he has no oblation, choosing a tree that will not rot, he seeks unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Has it not been told to you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he that sits upon the circle of the earth, the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretch out the heavens as a curtain, and spreads them out as a tent to dwell in, that brings the princes to nothing, he makes the judges of the earth as vanity, yea, yea, they shall not be planted, yea, they shall not be sown, yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth, and he shall also bow upon them, and they shall wither, and the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. Okay? To whom then will ye liken me? Or who shall I be equal, says the Holy One. So who, what graven image, what thing can we make, create with our hands? What idol could ever, ever, ever equal to the Holy God of Israel, the creator of all the universe? All right, Elohim. No one is equal. Nothing is equal to Elohim. Okay? So... Lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who has created these things that brings out their host by number. He calls them all by names, by the greatness of his might. For he is strong in power, not one failing. Okay, not one faileth. Why sayest thou, Jacob, and speaks, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God? So, you know, he's asking, why do you think that, you know, what you're doing is not going to be seen by me, says the Lord, you know, to, to Israel and Jacob. It's like, I can see everything. And that's what he's saying to them. Has thou not known, has thou not heard, that, everlast, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, faints not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He gives power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases his strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the, youth, and the young men shall utterly fail. But they that wait on, upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up like... Mount up with wings as eagle, eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. An excellent word here. I'm sure many of you have heard this one a lot, though, you know. Okay, so um, I have eight minutes now on this. Oh, no, actually seven minutes on right now. So I can see if I can get to the next chapter. Maybe. I'm going to try. All right. Chapter 41. Keep silence before me, O islands, and let the people renew their strength, and let them come near, and let them speak. Actually, I'm going to end right here, because I want to be able to make sure that I finish this chapter. It's kind of long. I want to make sure I finish it, and, am I, and I'm able to properly, you know, read it out loud. So I will come back and do this again. All right? So I'll talk to you all later. I bless you in uh, Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Bye.